Regarding a person who is a bit incapacitated due to illness, headache or stomachache, um, they also exempted from fasting? The people who are ill, they are exempted. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, that if a person is ill and traveling, he can make up his prescribed periods of day of fasting later on. But that does not mean if a person is suffering from a headache or a stomachache or a cough, he should not fast. If a person can fast, if he's sick, it becomes compulsory for him to fast. The only time he's exempted is if fasting becomes difficult due to his illness. Or if he fast, his illness would be increased or his health would deteriorate. Or it's compulsory for him to take some medicine due to his illness, then it becomes prohibited. Otherwise, for small issues or for small reasons like cough, like cold, like headache, like stomachache, fasting is compulsory. And the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has exempted those people who are ill, so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want to put a burden. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 195, that do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. If I'm ill, and if I know that fasting is going to cause a loss for me, will deteriorate my health, it's like killing myself. So Allah said it's prohibited. So if I know fasting will deteriorate my health, then it becomes prohibited. Similarly, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 29, that kill not yourselves, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. So causing a loss or a damage to your own health yourself is prohibited in Islam. So this exemption is mainly for those people for whom it is difficult or it will deteriorate the health, not for small ailments. Okay. We should be very careful to make sure our illness is reasonably severe then. That's right. Next question.